Today I'm gonna show you all about Dubsado packages. This is one of my favorite features on Dubsado, so let's dive in. Hi everyone, I'm Lainey. I'm an imitation designer and I love to teach creative entrepreneurs how to run successful businesses. Big part of that is having a streamlined back end. And so client management systems like Dubsado can really help you with that. I review a ton of them and give tutorials on so many different systems here on my channel. So check out that playlist if you're still deciding which one is right for you, or if you just want to see more Dubsado tutorials. As a certified Dubsado specialist, I also have a code which is designed by Lainey that will get you 30% off your first month or year. So if you do decide to join, definitely use that code um, to get a little bit of extra savings. All right, so for packages, we're going to go into templates and right above my head here, <laughs> you can just barely see the word packages. And as you can see, I have a ton of these already set up. One of the best things about this is you can just move them around however you want, however is convenient. So they don't go in alphabetical. They go in in the order that you create them and then you can move them around. So whatever is at the top um, should be your most commonly used packages. And I'll show you why in a second. To make a package, you just click add package pretty easy. Click to edit the name. So say I'm going to do um, a full invitation design. Then there's a lot of different things that are involved in this. I recommend trying to streamline your offerings as much as possible. This is easy. Or if you're like a photographer or videographer, it's a little harder for an invitation designer because you never know if someone's going to want 25 of something, 125 of something. Um, what you can do, what I typically do is just create a package with the quantity of 100, which is my most common quantity, um, and then adjust from there. You can always, if you only sell like in quantities of 25, you could create a package with all of them and select whichever one you need. Whatever is easiest for you, um, but the more you can streamline it, the better it's going to be. So what's going to come in here is all of your most popular items that you're going to put on most of your imitation design suites. Or if you're a photographer, for instance, um, this is going to be like your eight hour double photographer package or whatever. They're not going to see the title of it either. So you can put whatever you want there. You'll see I have some abbreviations. So I can put like custom design fee. And then I can put a big description here with a design fee. I definitely usually do have a big description here because that's the most important part. Um, we're going to have one of those. And right now it's $1,500. You can decide if you want to select your tax here. Um, or not. You can also do a discount if you want to make a discount package and your category is going to help with um, all of the reporting on the back end your accounting. So you can make this like design, which is going to be services and not taxable. And then for the other line items in your package, you can make them other things that will be taxable, etc. Um, so we'll just add item here and then say, you know, we have our five by seven invitation, four bar RSVP card, and two corresponding envelopes. So that's my main package. Um, and we want to start with 100 quantity because that's just going to be the easiest. And that's $5. Um, for this one, you know, maybe this one is taxable. So we'll add it here. And you can see we only have tax on that one. And then we'll do like printed addressing. And what I like here is you can put a description. So you can say, you know, guest plus return address on main envelope, and then also the return address on reply envelope. And you can put white ink printing, $1.50 a piece of gray. And this is just helpful when the client sees it on the invoice, they know like if they suddenly switch to a dark envelope and I need to do white ink, um, they understand that that's gonna be an upgrade and it's already there for them. So again, I'll start with 100 and we'll put 250. Um, we'll say printing as a service that's not taxable. And you can always change these things in each individual job, which I'll show you in a second. So then lastly, we'll just add shipping and you want to describe what it is. So I always just put um, two to three. I don't know why it's not popping up. Um, two to three days, not guaranteed. And I estimate uh, $65. And I'm going to also put with insurance so they know why it's a little expensive. You know, and you'll put your categories. I don't use the bookkeeping services in Dubsado because I use um, I use QuickBooks for that. So I don't really separate it all out, but it's all good to go. So that's shipping. And this is the package that we've created and your total is $2,300. Great. And we've titled this, what do we title this? Invitation Suite Design. I'll just move it all the way up to the top. And I'll show you some examples of different packages that I have. 
So this is like our basic package, three piece, 100. This is the one that I really use, although this is my demo account, so I haven't been updated in a little bit. Um, design package, like we, like we said, and you can see on here that it's got this really good description that's like, this is the roadmap. This is the most important thing you're paying for because it's the most expensive part of the invoice. Um, a little bit more information about that invitation suite, insert card, call your fee, return address. We have 200 because we are charging that separately for the reply card and the main envelope. And then of course our shipping. So we have this main package here um, and then a lot of add-ons, which are just one thing. So for instance, envelope liners, that's just one thing, but it's still easier to have it there. So then once you have your packages created, you'll go into your projects, go to your invoice. And if you need to add an invoice, this is the one I use for all my demo stuff. Um, whenever you're on the invoice, you can just click up here where it says packages and click whatever you need. So let's do that invitation design package and it adds everything there. And then, oh, the client really wants to add envelope liners and a silk ribbon wrap. Great, so we have all of that in here. These are in here as a quantity of one. So we'll just need to change them. Like in theory, you could just, you should put them all at 100. I must not have done that in this one. You can go ahead and put those in there and then you can move everything around. So even though the shipping was in that first package, it doesn't need to stay there. You can move all this up and down wherever you want it to be that makes the most sense for you. And then also once you have this done, if you're like, oh wait, this is a really good package, I should have this. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's this save as package. So you can save this and then in the future, this will be a package as it is with everything that you've done to it. So I find this to be really, really helpful from an invitation design perspective, but especially if you only offer like three different packages, setting those up clearly so that you can use them really easily is going to be such a huge help to your business. Um, and your clients are gonna love it. It's gonna prevent you from making mistakes if you're typing in the same information a bunch. Um, and you can use the packages in your proposals. So let me show you a... Okay, so I'm gonna show you an old proposal that I don't really use anymore because it was a little complicated for imitation design, but there are definitely ways to simplify this. And if you have more simple packages, it's so powerful. You can basically go in and select this. So like this package, it used to be $300. It's already selected, they can't do anything about it. And then I've put different packages in here where they can select things. So like, oh, they need a five by seven invite. We need a hundred of those. And they can go in, I can't do it because I'm not the client, uh, but they can go in and say how many they want, personalize their addressing. So we have calligraphy addressing, envelope address printing, wave envelope addressing. So they would choose one of these options and they can go and select whichever one they want. They can select some other things. Um, these have changed around because I just don't use this proposal anymore, so it looks really terrible. But you can do upgrades, and all of these are packages on the back end. So when you're creating a proposal, let's um, edit this one. So when you're editing a proposal, there's this package option, and you can just select whichever package you want. So maybe that invitation suite design and currency, and you can choose whether it's pre-selected, that means they have to have that, and then there's addition, additional upgrades, um, and then quantities you can set so that they can select those, and there's just a lot of different things you can do with the formatting of what that looks like on your proposals. So that's really powerful if you have a pretty simplified process where someone could go in and say, oh, I want this package, and then I wanna add on this, and then I wanna add on this, or they've already selected what package they want, and then you're just sending them some optional add-ons. So I hope you see the power of packages and how much time that can save you in Dubsado. Um, I'm a big fan of this. I also compare Dubsado to some other systems if you're still deciding what is right for you um, or if you've decided on Dubsado, then there's tons of other tutorials you can watch while you're here. And if you do decide to uh, start with Dubsado, I hope that you use my code designed by Lainey to get an extra 30% off your first month or year. Thanks everybody.